audience, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Dest, and I'm back with a Shein haul for you today. This one's going to be a big one. Uh, so grab yourselves something to drink, a beverage, maybe something to eat. <laughs> it's only because I'm feeling peckish, okay? So it's going to be a little bit big, I think. I did already get into the parcel because I wanted to take a different kind of thumbnail this time. You know, it's all right having closed bags and stuff, but it's nice sometimes to like have it out and bulging out of the bag or the box. So I thought that's what we would do today. Plus, I don't need to get my eyebrow thingamajiggy. I've put it up. Um, so, yeah, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your stay. A like and a subscribe goes an awful long way. And if you are one of my regulars, much love to y'all because you're going to need it with me. OK, so today we have a really big Shein haul. Well, for me, it's big. I also kept in today after doing my makeup, one of these nostalgic hair combs. <laughs> I mean, it looks a bit different to what it did when I was a kid. <laughs> you know, like it's, yeah, it's, it's doing, it's doing its job. It's keeping the, uh, the fringe out of my face for once. So my eyelashes have time to breathe. And I've also got my eyebrows looking relatively related today. So kudos to me for that. So without further ado, let's get into what I got. So the first thing I have is definitely an item of clothing. It, I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. I think I know what it is. Okay. So I've been getting a few dresses just recently and I thought, well, I don't really like tights that much. So I've got these leggings and they're sheer kind of leggings. I will try them on. Um, I thought that was a hole then. I will try them on uh, towards the end of the video just so you can get a look at what they're going to look like on my type of body. Y'all know I'm a big girl, so I'm hoping they're going to fit. <laughs> Obviously, I'll wear them with something. I'm not going to just, like, because y'all don't want to see me in my knickers. Nobody wants to see me in my knickers, my granny pants and all that and I just thought they were really cool and they're sort of ruffled as well which I really like the fact that they've got that ruffling so it's not just like tights or just leggings that are sheer it's got like a bit of texture to it and that is what we look for you're probably gonna hear my dog in the background she got a bone for Christmas and she's gnawing away at it and she makes this weird noise like <laughs> so yeah if you hear any of that that's just her with her bone she's uh living our best life right now with that so the next thing I have is oh okay it's a top it is a blue top oh I like the color see blue I don't know if blue is actually my color or not but I always have liked this kind of blue it is quite I'm hoping it's going to be long enough because you know how, like, we all have insecurities with our body. Well, mine happens to be mostly my pinny. Mostly my pinny. Because I'm just like, oh, do you have to hang like that? <laughs> you know? Um, but it is what it is. You know, I'm living with it. I laugh about it. I find it funny. You know, it may be a bit of an insecurity, but it's not all that. You know, I can take a joke about it. But yeah, I think that's going to look all right. Hopefully it's going to be long enough for what I want it for. Um, the next thing I have... Oh, itchy. Okay, the next thing I have is... A pair of jeans. Oh, God, please fit. They're so, I think they're supposed to be high-waisted ones. So, obviously, they've got this just here to help you along the way because your girl might need that. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, that looks all right. I don't mind how that looks. And I like the fact that it's it's got a little bit of stretch there. Not too much give, but just enough, you know. So, hopefully, they're going to fit and there won't be a problem. Let's do the pocket check. Not deep. Oh, no. They're not deep pockets at all. Um, the back ones. Oh, the back ones are okay. They're not super deep, but yeah. See, I like me some real deep pockets. 
I don't know why people well actually there's a conspiracy theory around the short pockets around like women's jeans apparently the theory is that if you give women jeans that don't have deep enough pockets to carry phones and stuff like that they're gonna be inclined to buy handbags I mean I don't know how true that is but I could kind of see that to be fair because what do I do a lot of the time I pair my outfits with a handbag because of the pockets. That's probably what it is, you know. That's probably not even a conspiracy theory at all. It's probably just what it is. I like to keep some of my Shein bags just in case, like, you know, I've got things that I need to, like, sort of put into them until I find somewhere for them to go. Like the smaller things, like if I get nail sets and stuff like that. Oh, it is a top. Okay, girl, I see you. Oh, red. Is red my colour? I've been told it is my colour, but I'm just, I'm never sure. I'm never 100% sure about it. I like this. I like the fact that it's got, like, it looks like little rips here and, like, little ladders. I love that. That's why I got this. It was mainly because of, obviously, these straps here. I do like the straps as well. Um, and the fact that it is like a cold shoulder kind of top. I really do like this. And hopefully it will look really nice with a nice pair of jeans. I don't know if it will look great with those because I'm not sure if they're going to fit me. You know, it's always hit and miss with jeans that you can't try on. If you can try, try a pair of jeans on, brilliant, you know, fantastic. Sometimes they they come up a little bit tight or sometimes they come up a little bit big around the leg. So you have to be very mindful when you're buying uh, clothes from online marketplaces or online stores that, yes, you can try them on when you get them. Sometimes you'll buy a pair and they're like way too baggy. And then other times you'll buy a pair and they're really fitted around the leg. And then you've got enough room up top. But just like some other times, it's a bit tight at the top and too much room in the leg, if you get what I mean. Um, I don't know if that's just me or what, but hopefully this top's going to look really nice with a pair of jeans. I'll obviously have to wear a strap top under it because of the... Well, I don't know, actually. I might not have to. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see in the try-on how it is. The next thing I have is... Oh, okay. So I got this for cupcakes. Um, it's just easier to bake them in here, you know, or Yorkshire puddings. You could do like really, you could do like cupcake Yorkshire puddings. That would be so cute, wouldn't it? Um, but I thought that would be ideal for the baking side of things because I'm trying to get rid of all my old stuff and get new stuff. Um, this year, that is my goal. Well, this year coming up is my goal to out with the old, in with the new. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get everything changed to how I want it because these are so easy to clean as well like it's just leave them in the sink with a bit of washing up liquid and some warm water and as soon as you go in with your sponge or your dishcloth whatever you use it comes out no problem there's no stick it like none none whatsoever oh, I've got a little case of the hiccups coming on it keeps happening and then going story of my life <laughs> I've always been a bit of a hiccupy person, especially when I've had a fizzy drink. Not so much when I drink juice, but then I don't drink juice that often now. I do like um, juice in water, though, because I don't like water by itself. I just, ugh, no. <laughs> the next thing I have, I'm really excited about this. So... Uh, my youngest's birthday is coming up in May. So I've started his birthday shopping. <laughs> it's like 3D with the nose. I love this so much. He's a massive, massive SpongeBob fanatic. So I thought that this would be ideal for his bedroom. Um, I know he's going to absolutely love it. And I had no idea that she and were doing like a SpongeBob range. Okay, there's not a huge amount of things in the SpongeBob range at the moment, but this is just brilliant. 
I just love the nose. The nose is awesome. The fact that that's the only part of it that sticks out. I really, really love that. And I know he's going to love it too. So fingers crossed. <laughs> we can keep that one a secret. And he'll never know. <laughs> well, until May. I've got to wait until the very end of May. And then I'm sure he's going to love it, to be fair. I'm absolutely positive he'll love it. He loves everything Spongebob inspired. The next thing I have. Oh, okay. So if y'all have watched some of my previous hauls, in one of my hauls, I got a watch ring. And I was so impressed with it. When I showed my mom, she loved it. She thought it was so unique, so pretty. Um, so... She doesn't know it, and I'm not going to let her watch this video. I'm going to tell her to skip this one until her birthday, which is in January. I got her for her birthday as one of her um, little gifts, a little watch clock. <laughs> a little watch clock, a little watch ring. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> um, she loves anything to do with watches uh, so and clocks. She's got, she must have like over a hundred clocks, like all different novelty ones. But I just thought that was beautiful. You know, like she likes the square ones more as well. So I thought, brilliant, absolutely fantastic. I love this one. I, I, you know, I still love mine, but this one is just so unique. So, so unique. It's very pretty. And I love the fact that it's got little diamantes in it. That is super cute too. So yeah, I hope that she's going to love that. And then we have... Aha! Some earrings! Because I couldn't resist. I've seen these a couple of times and I thought, oh, these might be the earrings for the wedding that I want to wear. Um, I got... It, well, it depends on what I'm wearing outfit-wise, to be fair. But I just thought these were absolutely gorgeous as well. These beautiful flower hoop earrings. <sighs> I love them. What can I say? They are absolutely stunning. And they're going to be fantastic for the summer because, you know, those little summer vibes that we all have. Um, I kind of want it to be... A pretty summer this summer because last year I didn't feel like great in myself and I'm I'm trying really hard with like the health thing and trying to get myself in a better place mentally as well because not only do does my health suffer when I'm sat here eating for three people I don't know, I'm just exaggerating I don't eat for three people but you know um, that's what a lot of people probably think. <laughs> um, but, you know, like your mental health sometimes suffers as well. So, and I find that shopping helps me with that because I'm like, I feel way more confident in the stuff that I'm wearing. You know, I'm not sticking on a strap top that I've had for two years. Uh, I'm sticking on something new that's different. That's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm loving how it looks. So that's basically what I'm doing this year. I'm just trying to improve things like how I look, how I feel about myself. So, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm getting all the summer bits in now. <laughs> I just think, you know, winter's done with pretty much after, I want to say, March. Moving into April, it's going to get a little bit warmer. Um and yeah, it just, it's nice to have like different things. So the next thing I have is these two stacker rings. I'll put them on here. No, actually don't put them on the middle finger because that's a bit rude, isn't it, Dest? <laughs> so I have these stacker rings here. I will uh, put a video in this video. <laughs> Or take a nice little picture, either or. But yeah, they are really cute and they are uh, adjustable. So you have this one just here. And then you have this one that looks, it almost looks like a, like a little tiara or a crown. 
I find like I I love those kind of rings that look a bit like a tiara or a crown I'm not sure why do I class myself as a princess no <laughs> I don't think I'd ever be able to be a princess to be quite honest I'm just far too common for that um but yeah <laughs> Your girl tries. Next, we have another ring, it would appear. What ring is... Oh, that's nice too. <laughs> I love my accessories too. I'm never, I never used to be one for wearing like a bunch of accessories with outfits. But when you watch people, you realise, you're like, wait, hey, that looks really nice with that. If you didn't have that on, the outfit wouldn't be what it is. So that's what I'm trying to do this year too. So we have this gorgeous ring here. Oh, that is very pretty, very shiny. That is very, very not. Oh, it's a bit big for that one. Fits on the middle one, lovely. Look at that. Oh, I love that. I'll keep that on. Let's keep that on. Let's keep it on. Um, the next thing. <laughs> so... The next thing I have may not be to everybody's taste, um, but you know me, you know I like my novelty stuff. So I have some earrings that are saying something a little bit rude. Um, and to be honest, I really love them and I will be wearing them quite often. <laughs> I don't know if you can read that. I'm not going to say what it says. <laughs> But I'm hoping y'all can read it. And I'm not saying this to any of you guys because I love you all dearly. You're fantastic. Especially for sticking by watching my videos. Um, I just, I like these. And sometimes when you're in that mood and you're just like, nobody talk to me. I could just be like, read the ears, dude. Read the ears. <laughs> it's a bit like saying read the room to someone. <laughs> But yeah, I thought these were fantastic and they're definitely going to be something that I wear, um, especially when I'm not in the mood to talk to people. Um, oh, I got some more organza to go above my bed because I have up there a hook ready for this. <laughs> I'm trying to get my living room to be like mostly like a secret garden sort of look um because I've already started with the window I've got above the sofa bed to do well I say sofa bed it's like a day bed to do that's supposed to be a sofa and then obviously I'm gonna work on the above my bed so I won't get it out you know kind of rough well actually hang on I just want to quickly look to make sure it's um the same kind of material yeah so it's exactly the same kind of I'm going to keep it out anyways because I will be putting that up at some point I might record how it looks during the video I don't know but yeah it's, it's pretty good I like it and I'm hopefully fingers crossed if it's in here oh I think it is <laughs> next to it okay so if it works I want to go for a little green um, accent with it. Is that what you say? Is that what the posh people say? The green accent. Uh, so I bought these. They're like kind of like curtains, but they they should be just as long. Oh, please don't tell me there's only one. Oh, you are joking. There's one. How am I going to make that work? Oh, I could probably. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't realise there was only one. I expected there to be two. Come on, Shein. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe I just didn't read it right. I'll tell you what I could do, though. I might save this for another project do really love it though that's the thing however I would have to thread something through there to make it work um uh, just wondering if I could possibly I can't believe there's only one though I'm a little bit gutted about that 
I might actually just check and see if it says quantity one, because that's gutting. That's very gutting for me. I may just have to skip through this part of the video <laughs> um, while I check, because it's going to be a bit tedious and boring for you guys if I can't make great conversation. Uh, <sighs> so annoyed. I may just have to order another one if that's the case. It's probably the fact that I've read it wrong. Solid colour single panel. <sighs> Such a douche. Single panel, yeah, so it's just the one. Why do you have to be such a douche, girl? Honestly, that was £6.84 for one. Do you know what? I'm going to save this. I'm not going to buy another one. I'm going to save it and try and do it with some and do something else with it. Unless I can make it work above the bed. Do I have faith in myself sometimes? We'll see. I might save it for another project though. I'm not going to say that it's definitely going above the bed because I just don't know. So yeah, that may be saved for a different project. How do you? <laughs> um... The next thing I have <laughs> for my wall of horror, okay, because um, I kind of wanted to add some 3D elements to it as well. Once the Christmas tree's down, I'm going to be working on that bad boy. I know it's not all horror, but it's basically just things that I like, and I call it the wall of horror because there's so many different things on there that are horror related. Um, I know that Fight Club isn't a horror movie. I already know that, but I just I kind of loved Fight Club. It was one of my favourites. Um, okay, so I assume that goes in there like that. Does it? Oh, God. Please. <laughs> okay, so that goes in there like that. And then I need some batteries. So bear with me a moment. Let me get the batteries, dear. All right, we got some batteries in. Let's test her. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. That's gonna look awesome. Oh, it's got a flashing effect too. I didn't realize it came with all those modes. Love that. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm going to stick that onto my wall and obviously have this because you can sort of hook this on. It's got like a little hook at the back. So I can just hook it on here on where it's supposed to go on your face. Leave it in like that. And it will, once it sits against the wall, I'd probably sort of stick it down a little bit as well and then just have it on while it's on the wall. Oh, that's so cool. Because I can use this bit to stick it on the wall with, hopefully, or maybe the corner edges. Um, or I might even have to, like, put a nail in the wall to hold it up. I'm not sure yet, but that is so cool. I was not expecting that to be as cool as it is. Um, I love it. I really do love it. Let me turn it off to save the batteries in that. <laughs> that is super cool. I was not expecting that to be that cool. And I wasn't expecting it to have different modes either. Um, I think this is napkins. So I always, after Christmas, try and get my living room back to a normal standard slash bedroom, back to a normal standard of living. And I decided that the napkins looked so beautiful for Christmas. I wanted to have like a permanent fixture of napkins so I got these green ones oh they are gorgeous look at that green color look at that they're beautiful so when I've done all the living room slash bedroom and it's all been done up to a standard that I'm happy with I will I'm not painting or anything like that I'm just basically adding accessories and making it look how I want it to look you know um, I will definitely post pictures on the community tab. Some of the things, if I have to do something um, pretty like I did with the window, I might vlog. Um, 
I probably won't vlog the bed because unless I'm adding like vines and stuff, which probably will be, let's face it, it's me. <laughs> I'm probably going to add some rose vines or something to the top of that hook. Um, typical desk thing to do. So yeah, I'm not going to promise that I won't because I know I probably will. And I just, I love the whole secret garden vibe. Why am I like this? Like most of me love girly stuff. And then you've got a massive part of me that's into horror and gore and death metal. <laughs> Just one of those girlies, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I like the fact that I've got two sides to me and I can sort of combine them as well, like within my taste. Um but yeah, I'm just, I'm absolutely in love with this window. I keep staring at it like, I can't believe I've done that. So the next thing I have is, oh, this is a birthday present for my bestie. <laughs> so it's going to look, um, when I turn the video around, it looks normal this way. So I'll keep this part in. Um, but then after this, it will be turned around just because I have to turn it round because um, it's kind of mirrored, if that makes sense. It says, I hope we're friends until the end. Then I hope we stay ghost friends and walk through walls and scare the <clears throat> out of people. <laughs> I just thought that was very amusing, very cute. Um, and I thought that it would be something to put in her birthday gifts because I'm pretty much done with hers now. Um, I just have a few final little things to get and then that's pretty much it. Um, I did most of hers when I was doing the Christmas shopping. So the next thing I have, I'll put this here a second, is probably one of the freakiest pair of earrings I've seen actually. So I won't get them both out. Um, but these are like scissor earrings. So it goes like this. So it looks like it's cutting into your ear. I just thought that was so cool. I don't know why I loved it so much. But yeah, um, I will post a picture of how they're supposed to look in the video. I'm not going to put them in because it just, I want you to see how they're going to look. Not with me fiddling with my lobe like, oh, oh, no, it looks better like that. So yeah, I will post a video to show you get back there there we go um right the next thing that doesn't sound very promising i don't know if i want to open this <laughs> oh and i haven't got my eyebrow thing in my jiggy okay this <laughs> is for when i'm washing my vegetables and my fruits I can just literally lay them in this to drain. Um, I saw one of these on another channel. And can I remember what channel it was? No, I can't. But I just thought this was brilliant because you can leave it like that. You can have it. It's literally adjustable. Look at that. And this hopefully will fit in my sink absolutely brilliantly. I think it will. I might have to try it out and have a little look. I think this is for this part here, actually, which keeps, does it keep it? Hang on. <laughs> I have to see. <laughs> I'm intrigued. It's the only part that's, yeah. So that's basically what keeps it. You just screw this in and it keeps it at a certain size, whatever size you need it. But I just thought, how brilliant is that? And I've not got one of these. I've never had one. And it would just make my life so much easier. If we're having baked potatoes or something, I can put, I can wash the potatoes, leave them in here to drain off and dry. And then we can have like our baked potatoes. And I know that they're all done and they're ready to go in. Wash them in the morning, leave them until the afternoon. Bang. So yeah, that's perfect for us. I am looking forward to using that actually. Because when I wash my broccoli later, um, because we're having broccoli tonight with our meal, I will use that. My fringe keeps sticking up. <laughs> my fringe is like, no, girl. <laughs> um, the next thing I have, because I want to start drinking more water and juice, 
I know I was slagging water off like super bad earlier, but you girls gonna try this year to drink way more water than caffeine free diet coke and iced coffee. Even though I only have the one iced coffee, I'm gonna try really hard to drink more water in between that. I do have an ice machine now, so it shouldn't be that hard best, you know? <laughs> Um, but yes, I brought these. I thought they were brilliant value for money, really. Um, let's just get one out and have a little look. I'm going to wash those up in a little while and then put them in my cupboard, ready to use. They're actually not bad. I mean, you could store other things in here. You don't have to do juice and water, but that's what I bought mine for. You could store a whole... You could put herbs in here and everything. Like, that's crazy cool. I like them. I might buy some more of these for other such things. Because that's actually really quite cool. <laughs> they are very nice, actually. You could, you could even, if you were into making... Um, bubble bath and stuff like that and you knew how to make like hand soap and stuff you could even put that in there and sell it on a market stall or something that's fantastic i like them they're actually really cool oh, okay i think i've got two more things left so it wasn't as big a haul as i thought it was but we do have a try on Am I looking forward to the try on? No. Am I going to do it for you? Yes. Um, so the next thing we have, because I need somewhere to store my fruit and veg, uh, apart from the fridge, because it takes up so much room, especially when you buy a lot of fruit and veg. Um, I love vegetables. I'm not so much a fruit girl, but veg, oh my goodness. There's not many that I don't like, to be fair. I'm not a tomato girly though, unless it's tinned and in something. I can't eat tomatoes if they're like fresh. I just don't like them. They have the come out, man. Honestly, because otherwise I'm going to be talking for ages. <laughs> um, yeah, not a fan of tomatoes. I love um tinned tomatoes in like a uh, spaghetti bolognese or a chili or. You know, I live for tin tomatoes in those dishes. Lasagna, big chunks as well. Love that. But, um, yeah, I'm not a massive fan otherwise. So, basically, hey, did they send me the wrong one? Oh, no, they didn't. <laughs> so, basically, it's supposed to do this. But it's got, you can basically use it for everything else as well. It's not huge. It's not huge. But like for vegetables that you're going to eat on the day or you're planning to eat the next day and you can't fit them in the fridge, you've got like these little shelving rack store thingies. <laughs> shelving rack store thingies. That's a great way to look at it, Death. Um, I'm not going to put it together right now because... Yeah, it's it's just going to be a lot of messing about on camera. But when I do put it together, I will put a video in the uh, or a picture. I'm not going to keep saying just video because sometimes it might be a picture. I will put a video or a picture in the video itself and then I will um, post it in here. So you see what it looks like. Shopping trolley, anyone? <laughs> oh no, it's not a shopping trolley, it's a basket, isn't it? A stupid desk. Um, so, my mum's birthday is coming up on the 6th of January, and she would really like an afternoon tea kind of vibe. So, your girl's gonna fill this up. Um, with stuff for afternoon tea for us all. Obviously, this is I could have done with two of these because there's quite a few of us. Um, there's me, her, my brother, uh, my two sons, 
Um, I don't know if maybe we'll have guests coming around, so I just kind of want to put enough in just in case. Um, but yeah, like I'll do some cupcakes because she loves the lemon meringue ones that I do. Um, I will probably do some scones. I don't know if I'm going to cook them from scratch though because I don't know if I'm great at them. You know how like when you do certain things, like I know I do killer sausage rolls. They're fantastic. They're really, really nice because I add so much into them. Like I'll add like tiny chopped up onion um, that's been uh, cooked slightly. So it obviously cooks then into the sausage meat as well. Um, I add jalapeno. I add um, paprika, chives, parsley, black pepper, and they just taste gorgeous. They really do taste amazing. So I'll be adding like homemade stuff in there and then obviously stuff that I've bought from the shop. Um, maybe some of her favourite chocolates in there and other bits and bobs. Um, the sandwiches obviously I'll make myself. But I just thought, yeah, that would be ideal for that first and then I can just use it for other bits and bobs like fruits and veggies after we've done that. So that's what that's for. But again, that was another great haul there it wasn't as big as what I thought it was going to be but let's get on to the try on because that's quite important to have the try on now <laughs> I don't know why y'all y'all like seeing me in these clothes because I look at myself and I'm like <laughs> but y'all seem to like it so I'll keep doing it if it makes you giggle and stuff I'm, I'm all good with that that's that's the main thing there that's the main one so yeah love that for us <laughs> I will be back momentarily, dear. All right, so here is the first top, the blue top. I don't think it looks too bad, actually. I think it looks all right. Oh, nearly. <laughs> so I just have an old pair of jeans on. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad, to be fair. I was expecting it not to be long enough. Uh, but yeah, this is plenty long enough. And it is very nice. Got my bingo wings out for you, or my bat wings, as I like to call them. I don't know if it's sat right, though. Is it? I don't know. But I like it anyway. I think it's very nice. It's very flattering. It's not showing too much of the belly and the pinny. So I will take that and run with it. Um, I really like this, actually. I like the fact that it covers my bat wings, yeah? That's nice. <laughs> um, I love the fact that I can adjust the zip to wherever I want it. If I want it to be a bit more risque, I could have it lower, but I'm not, you know. Um, that's actually really quite nice. Yeah. Obviously, it's never going to be perfect, because look at this. I like to call it my muffin top. I'm not sure if that's what we call it, but yeah. <laughs> It's the fat that doesn't know where it wants to go on my body. So it just sort of stuck there and clung there. I think it was meant to go on my butt. But, yeah, it, it just didn't want to go down that far. It was like, now nah, we're going to stop here. <laughs> you know, make it look like she's got huge hips. And then from the back, make it look like a bulgy butt. But, yeah, I like that. <laughs> I actually do like it. I'm not really too concerned on how it looks from the back. Because it looks all right from the front. <laughs> And that's where I want people to see me from, the front. Um, okay. So these are the leggings. I don't know if you can really see them too good, but they're kind of like, oh wait, get a bit closer to us. <laughs> um, I really like them actually. I think they're very different. They're very out there, very alternative kind of vibe. Um, and I really like them. Yeah. I think I do like them, actually. I wasn't too sure when I put them on. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like them or not. But no, I do, I do like them. With a nice pair of shorts in the summer, if it's, like, not too hot, these would be ideal. And maybe a top like this. Oh, maybe, maybe we got ourselves an outfit there. I don't know. The red and black look nice together, though, right? All right, well, the jeans fit. <laughs> Obviously, it's a little bit, you know, around the old... Oh, actually, no, there's a little bit of room there. I'm not disappointed with them. 
does my butt look banging? Does it? <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't have much of a butt to begin with, I told you. Kim Kardashian stole my share of the butts. But yeah, I'm not disappointed with that. Maybe this would look nice with the blue top. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it does. It looks actually quite nice with the blue top, I think. I mean, obviously the back wings need a bit of work, but <laughs> yes, I like it. Yes, I really do like that. I don't feel self-conscious in it at all. I really like it. <laughs> Until I turn to the side. But yeah, I don't mind that, to be quite honest. I think that looks all right, considering maybe a bit of shapewear on there. And uh, I have got shapewear coming, so that'd be funny trying to get into that. <sighs> Have y'all ever tried to get into shapewear and it be like the biggest struggle you've ever had in your life? Oh, God, it's like a workout. Right, so that is all she wrote. <laughs> I am uh, finally finished trying everything on. I really, really did like that blue top with those jeans. That just looked really quite nice, I thought. Mind you, I might watch it back and think, nah. Nah, girl. Nah. <laughs> you never know with me. I know what I'm like. I like things when I first see them and I'm just like, eh? <laughs> I mean, no no problem with the quality issue at all because it's beautiful. It's just me in general. I look and I'm like, I don't know if I like that now. You know, but at the time, it's a great idea. It looks good. <laughs> so anyways, I hope that you all have a fantastic new year's eve slash new year and i will see you in the next one until then bye